Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day. This video, I want to showcase how to gain another good 15 to 20% more hash rate on your phones for mining Varus coin. I know it's been the talk of the town recently, and there are a couple different methods on how to mine Varus coin with your phone. But recently, there has been, I would say maybe a good past couple months, that there has been a new method which gains a bit more hash rate due to a new optimized CC miner for ARM. And, you know, a lot of information here I want to go through. I also do want to showcase how to do it on a brand new AO3S. I'm going to get this going and showcase you all how to do that. I have a new quick method to do that for you all, so I'll showcase that in a second. But just to show you the difference, okay, in hash rate. On the right, I have a Samsung AO3S here mining just the regular, I believe this is on the Pangs Lab Varus Miner. So this is one where you just simply download it off the App Store. Okay, you have to, you know, sign into your Google account and all that kind of stuff on this phone. Uh, this method on the left, you do not have to do anything like that. I will showcase that in a second. But, you know, on the one on the right here, we're getting 3.68 mega hash. You can see, I've been doing this test for the past 25 hours. Okay, right there. And uh, same with this phone here. Uh, the big difference, though, you can see the accepted shares is 1,123. On this side here, right at the same time, 1,337. Oh, look at that, elite. Uh, so, yeah, I'm getting a lot more accepted shares. And also, it's showing more hash rate here at 41, around 4,100 uh, kilohash, which is uh, 4.1 mega hash. Okay, uh, just to compare with that, and I'll show you some screenshots on the pool for the past 24 hours. It was showing that this phone on the left is getting more hash rate at the pool side. Okay, so I just wanted to clarify that that it seems like this is working great, but thanks to this miner right here. Okay, so there is an optimized CCR miner. Okay, and then this one here. Uh, the Pangs Lab Varus Miner is the one that normally I think a lot of people do for the uh, going through the App Store, okay, which there is a dev fee on this, but I have nothing against that. But on the Oink70, thank you to Oink70 here, Android Mining on GitHub here, uh, he has a optimized CC miner. He's been, I guess, updating it over the past while here. And there is a great way to get this going. Thank you to Mr. Retro Mike. Okay, Retro Mike has optimized and essentially compiled all this into an easy way. I'm gonna go through that in this video with you guys on a phone, okay? And we're gonna be also utilizing uh, this stuff here and copy this into a, a QR code generator, okay? This is thank you to Mr. Paperclip on YouTube. What's up, man? And I just want to give a shout out to all these guys here, Mr. Retro Mike. I get inspiration from these guys. Uh, thanks to them, Retro Mike, for helping me with all this as well. Uh, Mr. Paperclip. Got the QR code method from him, and I learned a lot from him as well. And of course, Mr. New England Crypto, who has been doing phone mining for quite a long time now. And so make sure you guys go subscribe to these gentlemen. I have them linked down below their great plethora amount of information regarding phone mining. So without further ado, let's get started on, I'm going to showcase to you all how to do this quick and easy. So I got a brand new Samsung AO3S here, nothing installed. I already went ahead and went through the... Um, like the startup process already. So I'm not gonna show you guys that. It's pretty easy to go through. And uh, just, you know, when you open the phone, you have to go through all the initial steps. And, you know, I didn't put in a SIM card. There's no SIM card. Uh, there's no, I'm not logging into any Google account or anything. As you can see here, I, I'm, you don't need to do that. Okay, so I'm just gonna close this. But there are two things that you'll probably wanna do first. And it, I don't think you need to do it. I just did it just to make sure the whole phone was updated. I went to settings, okay, and then I went to about phone, and then I just did a simple software update, okay. I just updated the phone all the way until there was no more updates, okay. That's one thing I just kind of like, I don't know, force a habit for me updating everything, so everything's already up to date with this phone. I don't think you have to do that, but um, it's, yeah, it's just something I like to do to have it all nice and updated. But then the next thing you'll want to do is connect to the Wi-Fi. Okay, very easy to do. Um, I already did that already here. Uh, so we're going to go back now. Now, the next step, we are going to now go back into the computer because we need to copy some information here. Thank you again uh, to Retro Mike for all of this here. So what I'm going to do, 
we're going to open up something called a QR code generator because we're going to use the camera on the phone uh, to basically copy this, uh, open it up onto the phone. And uh, so we want to go to free text to make a free text uh, QR code here. I'm going to paste this all in here and you can see the QR code updated. So I'll have this all linked down below, okay, where you guys just copy and paste. But there are two things you're going to need to change, okay? So you're going to need to put your own Veriscoin uh, wallet and also the mining pool that you wish to mine to. So just to talk about the wallet, okay, there are many places where you can get your wallet. You can get it on the Veris desktop wallet for Windows, Mac, uh, Linux, and ARM. And of course, on the Veris mobile, there's Android and iOS uh, wallet, okay? So that's where you can get your Veris coin wallet, all right? So I highly recommend uh, doing that, and then you're gonna just paste it into here. Okay, paste it into this QR code generator because we're going to be copying pasting this into the config. All right, which I'll show you in a sec. Then, of course, the mining pool of your choice. So there are many different various coin mining pools out there. I'm not going to tell you which one's the best. I mean, I feel like it's all the same. It, it's up to you guys. But there's a lot of different mining pools here. You just go into miningpoolstats.stream, choose the mining pool that you like. For me personally, I'm just doing it on cloudico.io. You know, we want to decentralize the hash rate. Just don't go on luckpool.net because they have 73% of the network hash rate right now. Just decentralize the hash rate onto other pools that have much lower hash rate. Anyways, next step, once you have all this copied in here, now we're going to go back to the phone. We're going to open up the camera app, okay? All right, this should be stock on their phone. Then we're going to want to check at the settings tab here. Make sure that uh, the settings wheel at the top, that scan QR codes is enabled. And it should be on default. On the Samsung AO3S, it was enabled for me by default. So then we're going to take the phone and then we're going to scan the QR code. Then you'll want to go show options and hit copy. And you'll see text copied, copied to clipboard. Okay, then we're going to hit back here, this button here. Uh, you don't need the camera app anymore should be copied to your clipboard okay next you'll want to go to notes most phones most most android phones will have some some sort of note app already already stock installed so for this case samsung ao3s actually has an app called samsung notes okay we're just using this as a way to copy and paste okay and then we're going to go brand new note here and then we're just going to paste uh, we have to hold it down and paste okay so all that we got from that QR code was just simply to have it all in your phone like this, because we're going to be copying these commands, basically sideload uh, a Linux distribution and also CC minor. Okay, so now next step, we're going to highlight this HTTPS link here. Okay, so we're just going to hold down and you're probably going to have to uh, basically kind of highlight this whole link like that. We're going to hit open. Okay. Most Android phones should see this Google link here. We're just gonna hit open. Normally you can hit copy and then you're gonna paste it into a browser like Google Chrome on your phone. Then it should come up like this. It's gonna download a file. It says file might be harmful. Um, download anyway, just say download anyway. So in this case, it is downloading user land. Okay, this is where now we can, it says file downloaded and hit open. Okay, it says, do you want to install this app? hit install. Um, sometimes you might get a security prompt. Um, you might have to allow Google Chrome to open unknown apps. Okay. And then we're going to hit open. Oh, to open user land. You can hit done as well. Um, if you go back now, if you navigate back to, uh, to your phone here, you should see the app uh, here. It's called user land. So we're going to open user land now. Okay. And it says allow user land to send you notifications. doesn't matter. I'm just going to say allow um ubuntu so this is now the next step we want to install ubuntu it says user land requires permission press ok and you're gonna hit allow okay now this is where we need you you need to enter in a username and password so you can be anything you want i'm just going to do rpm and password we have to do a password for both okay and a password for vnc here i'm just gonna do red panda okay continue all right, and you want to do SSH, continue. And it's going to start installing Ubuntu on the phone. So that's going to take a little bit. Okay, so that took about a good two minutes. Now it's going to prompt you for the password that you just entered in. So I'm going to put in my password, which is red 
and uh, or whichever password you guys put in enter and now we're in user land okay now next step we're gonna go navigate back to your notes okay which was right here okay samsung notes we're gonna go back here all right so we did the step now uh use open user land uh install ubuntu with ssh so we did that now we're, we're gonna need to run this command here this curl command all right this is where uh retro mike has graciously uh, basically compiled it in a way where it will always install the latest version of Oink's uh, CC Miner. Okay, so we're going to copy that. Okay, make sure you copy this string here from curl all the way to bash. Okay, navigate, open up back to the app, userland app, should already be there. Then we're going to right enter in here and paste. Okay, so that whole command is going to go right there. Then you're going to hit enter on your keyboard and it's going to start installing uh, the Oinks uh, CC Miner, which is going to take another couple minutes. Okay, next step is to, we're going to navigate back to the text file here. Okay, now next command we're going to have to type in is CD CC Miner. So we're going to just highlight this if you want, or you can type it in, it's pretty short. Um, then you're going to navigate back to here, hold down, and paste. Okay, and you're gonna hit enter on the keyboard. So that should get you into there. We're gonna go back to the notepad here. Uh, now we're gonna type in nano config JSON. Okay, you can copy that or type it in, pretty short. Go back to here, we're gonna hold it down and paste, enter. Now, this is where we're going to edit the mining pool and also the user, okay? So we're gonna go back to here. We're gonna, we're gonna edit the pool info, which we have. Uh, this is where you copied your own wa Varus wallet, all right, and the mining pool. So we're gonna do the mining pool first. Okay, copy that, go back, all right, go back to this. Now, you're gonna have to use these little arrows, okay, to navigate this uh, text here, okay? So it's a little bit, it's a little bit hard, okay, but uh, easy to do. And you're going to want to erase the existing mining pool uh, that is here. Okay, so it's going to require just a little bit of work here. Okay, then you're going to hit the back arrow to delete uh, the existing mining pool that was here already. Okay, and now we're going to paste. And there we go. That should be right there. Okay, just verify, make sure uh, you're not missing the stratum plus TCP colon slash slash. Then I have us.cloudico dot io colon nine 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 uh nine okay now we're gonna enter in uh just now we're gonna have to remove the wallet address here we're gonna edit this just basically remove all of this and then we're gonna go back to the samsung notepad and we're just gonna simply highlight the wallet address this is mine okay that's copied we're gonna go back to here and you're gonna paste there we go okay Verify that looks good. Okay, this is future Red Panda. I forgot one little step. I mean, you don't have to do this, but this is just to distinguish uh, which device is what. So if you want to have a worker name on the web GUI of whichever pool that you're mining on, you just, after the wallet address, you put a period and then any worker name you like. So what I usually do is like Samsung 01. And if I have another phone, it's going to be Samsung 02 and so on and so forth. And that's it. All right, just see, uh, just verify that it's all there, okay? Another thing to do, depending on the mining pool that you're mining to, is you can change the password as well. And in my case, I'm just gonna do X. It's most what Cloud Ico needs, okay? And that's it. Now, back to past Red Panda. Now, to save it, okay, we're gonna hit the control. All right, there's a control button on here. This is very important. Control and then X. Okay, and then you've got to hit Y on the keyboard for yes. Okay, and then hit enter. Okay, very important. All right, control X, Y, and then enter. So now we can start the miner very easy, which is this command right here, dot slash start dot sh. Copy this, copy that whole string if you want, or you can type it in. Okay, I'm going to go back to here and we're going to uh, hold this down and paste. There we go. We're going to hit enter. And it's going to start mining. So that was easy. 
All right, easy method. Don't have to go through the app store. We don't have to download any apps or anything like that, log in or anything like that. We don't have to plug into the computer um, to load anything. I thought this method for me was much faster than other methods I've seen. Uh, let me know down below if you guys uh, did this and that worked for you or not. Let me know. But um, yeah, looks like it's uh, yeah, it's starting to mine just really easy. Now, just some maybe other prelim preliminary stuff before you get it mining. You're going to want the power cable in, charger in. The Samsung AO3S, apparently this is a LiPo battery. According to RetroMic, this won't like blow balloon or anything, so it won't have any issues. Another thing is to lower the brightness. Okay, so on this phone, yeah, just basically lower it all the way down. Also, some people also like to have the, uh, I've seen varying things, but having the screen on at all times. Now, if it doesn't work and it stops mining and you have the screen closed, then you're going to have to do the developer mode. Okay, so let's say if you want to do that and you want to have the screen on at all times, you're going to go to settings. All right, then you're going to go to about phone then you're going to want to go to software information and then you see the build number this is where you want to hit it a couple times and it says developer mode uh, has been turned on okay then you're going to hit back go back one more time you want to go to the uh let's see we're going to have to type it in we're going to search it sometimes you won't find it you're going to go to developer developer options okay developer options on that Okay, then there's an option here uh, to stay awake. Okay, screen will never sleep while charging. So just, yeah, if you want the screen on at all times, have that on and it will then now, you go back to here, your user land, it should not turn off, but also at the same time, have the brightness all the way down. So you're not, you know, wasting any more juice, uh, that kind of stuff while you have it mining. Okay, so yeah, that's what I do. And there you go. It's, uh, it's as simple as that. I found that to be pretty simple. So that's it for this video, guys. Let me know if that helped you out. And uh, thank you to Re Mr. Retro Mike and uh, Paperclip, New England Crypto, for all the information I've learned, all the knowledge I've learned from all of you guys. Make sure you guys go subscribe to them down below. This seems to be a good way to achieve higher hash rates on your phones, okay? So let me know uh, what you guys think down below. I'll have us all in the description, you guys can copy this whole thing. Uh, I'll have the QR code generator website that I use. Make sure you do free text, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, that's very simple. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you on the next video. Have a good one. Peace out.